I'm joined by Philip Hockley here in the studio, a gentleman who's literally just flown into the Isle of Man uh, this morning. Your, your bags are literally packed. That's right. Uh, you're on the Isle of Man. Uh, you're doing some talks. Um, it's all about, um, well, addiction, hidden rock bottom, coming out the other side. And this is in association with, with a church, which you, you're now very much part of. Yes. And you've got um, a presentation here this weekend. So that sums that bit up. Let's, let's find out more about you then. What, what exactly happened for, that for you? So I'd had um, a series of illnesses that brought me to the state where I was physically handicapped, registered as physically handicapped by mm -hmm. social services. And it went back a long way. So one of the bone conditions I had was from arthritis as a child, give me a leg length discrepancy. That caused the curvature of the spine. The curvature of the spine caused a neck problem. And I'd lived happily with these all my active young life until I started losing weight really rapidly as an adult. And that was blamed, the, the weight loss was blamed on food allergies that I developed from poor life choices. I smoked a lot and I drank a lot. And they thought that I kind of damaged my internal system and now I was suffering as a consequence of those poor choices. So this down the spiral, from that took you, how low did you go? Something? Well, basically I went from about, I'm about 13 stone normally. I was down to seven stone at the time and I was pretty much bedridden. I'd been out of work for about seven years. Um, I, I, I had chronic fatigue syndrome, I had irritable bowel syndrome. All the food I was eating was going straight through me. I was in a pretty desperate situation by the yeah. time I'd reached rock bottom. And that in, in incorporated taking drugs and then just... Yeah, I mean, I, I was involved with, um, you know, marijuana and I was addicted to marijuana, nicotine, alcohol. So they were not, they were not supporting uh, you know, good health for me at all. So your lecture is about from rock bottom coming up. And, and in your case, it's spiritual, right? I mean, that's... I exactly. So the lecture that I attended 20 years ago was a complete surprise to me because I wasn't looking for healing. I thought I was going to die because the doctors had tried everything. Um, I then went to the alternative therapists from A to Z, mm -hmm. acupuncture all the way through to zone therapy, and all of those could offer me no alternative. And so I'd even gone to local churches and asked for them to pray for me, and I didn't really like the churches because I'd had a pretty rough time at the hands of people that called themselves Christians when I was a young boy. So I'd never been interested in Christianity. But in sheer desperation, I kind of reached out mm -hmm. and asked them if they could help, but even they couldn't help. Oh, they couldn't help? They couldn't help. I was waiting for you to say they sorted everything out for no, you. No, they oh, didn't okay. help at all. So then for the last two years, before I came in contact with the Christian Science Lecture, I was literally just preparing to die at peace. And I moved away from my family and friends. I moved into a small town, into Hereford, and I took the vows of a monk, and I lived like a monk practicing to die at peace. And then I just literally bumped into this lecture. I thought it was a history lecture. I turn up, and within the hour of the lecture, everything that I'd brought with me to the lecture was healed. My legs were the same length, my spine was straight, I was walking upright, and within four weeks of that lecture, I'd regained those lost five stones. Sorry, from the lecture, you went home and did exercises or did things to help yourself, or you, uh, you no. used, this is while spiritual intervention? I, while I, exactly. While I was sitting in the lecture, during that hour, I could feel all the tension and the pain just melting away, literally. And I'd been living with it for about a decade constantly mm -hmm. at that time. So it was a significant event, a significant change for me. Well, clearly, and here you are today. And, and now you're, you're telling this message to other people. Exactly. So after that event, I learned from the, the, the study materials that they offer you at the Christian Science Churches, I learned how this had happened and how it's a logical sequence of events that comes from understanding God as a principle, like a, any other scientific principle that's ever present, but we need to become aware of it or conscious of it in order to benefit from it. Just like if we're not conscious of two plus two equal in four in mathematics, although it's available for us, if we're not conscious of it, we're gonna make mistakes with our maths. Mm. Well, the science that Mrs. Eddy discovered, Mary Baker Eddy, who discovered Christian science in 1866, she discovered that there were laws and principles behind this science. When we understand those principles, we then start seeing more harmony and concord where there was discord and of course 
I'd been living so far from any feeling of harmony for many, many years. It was a very uh, rapid and, and uh, transformational experience at that lecture. Okay. Well, if people want to go to this, you've got the details here. Yes. So this weekend, we've yeah. got a lecture. It's sponsored by the First Church of Christ Scientists here mm -hmm. in Douglas. It's at Hillary and Woodburn Roads. Mm -hmm. It's on Sunday, the 6th of October. It starts at 3 p.m. It's for about an hour, but I will stay behind and answer questions one-on-one -on -one for as long as I'm needed to. I guess that's quite an important part that people want to share and... Uh, get more information out of you. It, on it, it tends to go on for at least another hour yeah, right. because people can give me personal information in private and we can talk about solutions that are ready for them right there and then. And there's a phone number, isn't there, if people want to yes, contact? Yes, if, if there's a contact number. Local one here. Yeah, there's a contact number if people are interested in finding out more about it. It's, uh, it the, the name is Deb Taubman mm -hmm. and the number is 07624-340-748. I'll say that again. 07624 340 748